Well, good morning, everyone. We'll get started with our class. Go ahead and find a comfortable position to sit in, and we'll tune in together. You can have your palms facing up on your lap, and above all, the most important aspect of this practice is to keep the spine tall. So try to relax the muscles in your body and feel that you're able to sit taller and taller through greater relaxation. You can close your eyes down and begin to feel the breath circulating in and out through the nose. You may like to place your attention at the very top of the nose. On the inhalation, there's often a cool sensation that can be felt spreading throughout the brain or the front side of the forehead. And on exhalation, there is a warm sensation that can be felt as the breath passes out of the body. notice that your attention has shifted, just go ahead and gently guide it back to this point at the root of the nose. If the mind is overactive this morning, feel that each breath is a calming wave of presence circulating through the body and releasing any overactivity. If the mind feels dull or sleepy, feel that the breath is filled with energy and that it is waking up the body. As you breathe in this way, we'll listen to the words of a prayer poem by Paramahansa Yogananda. It's the prayer demand to be kept ever awake and ready. O oh Father, if thou wakest me, how can I ever sleep again? If sleep should steal upon me, wilt thou awake me? The terrors lurking in the dream jungle of life are now forgotten. My sorrow has, by thy grace, been changed into tears of joy. All my tiny emotional joys blaze into bliss. My body temple is filled with thy light. Its rays keep the eyes of my wisdom from drooping. I thank thee, Father, for keeping me always awake and ready. And let's breathe in that dynamic energy of both being calm, but simultaneously energized, feeling awake and present in our lives. Ever ready. We'll have a brief chant to open the heart and we'll get started with our practice.
Enjoy a moment here of stillness, lengthening the spine once more if the body started to slouch. Either centering your awareness in the heart or at the base of the nose. of the chant reverberating thou art my life thou art my love thou art the sweetness which I do seek in the next few breaths see if you can feel yourself internally not as an island of consciousness but as an ocean of expansive awareness flowing through your heart, flowing through your body. And all your strength and all your capacity for love and joy expanded infinitely by this attunement and connection the divine flow within each one of us. And then gently letting the practice go. You can begin to open your eyes as you're ready. So good morning and welcome everyone. The subject of our class this morning is going to be willpower. So we're going to go ahead and come out of our seat and we'll get started right away with just a little adjustment here. And so let's go ahead and take the arms and circle them up on inhalation, reaching them up above the head. Good. And exhaling hands right down into the center. Go ahead and face the palms or fingertips reaching forward right at the solar plexus. So from the side, you can see your fingers are reaching out. And we'll take a moment here just to stand ready on the balls of the feet. Heels are nice and light. You can lift a little and drop a little. And the idea here is to feel a concentration of energy at your solar plexus. Let's close the eyes for a moment and tune into this energy the quality of fire in the body. And feel your inner fire beginning to churn in a healthy way, burning up and transmuting and transforming, stoked with each breath that flows into the body. Gentle pressure between the palms will really seal your awareness and your attention here. We're going to use an affirmation from another posture. The affirmation, I attune my will to the source of all power. Let's say the affirmation internally. I attune my will to the source of all power. Feeling energy, concentration beginning to center in the body, awakening the inner dynamo of potential, of transformation. When you're ready, you can release the pressure between the palms. Take a gentle bend of the knees. Inhale, we're going to reach down first and then send arms up overhead. We're coming right into half moon pose. Let's start over on left side. You can step feet closer together or a little wider. You might experiment with both to see what feels better. The focus is on the left side of the body initially, coming up the leg through the side body, through the spine and out the crown of the head towards the palms. If you notice your right shoulder folding down, 
come a little straighter in the spine and roll the shoulder back and behind. And the affirmation, feel it coming right from the solar plexus, refining up through heart. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Strength and courage fill my body cells. And we'll go ahead and inhale and come through center. Hands seal right back into this region of the solar plexus, fingers pointing forwards. Take a moment here to feel the energy of the solar plexus beginning to travel upward. And the fire of transformation burning through all the various centers in the spine, purifying any old energy, any feeling of weakness in our body or mind. And we'll keep with this, but freeing the hands down once more, we'll inhale and sweep down and then up and over and reach for the opposite side of your half moon pose. Shift your weight over on to the right foot and feel a lengthening quality first through the inner side, reaching up and over. And we're relaxing into greater length in the Spine. You can think of relaxation as the mechanism that dilates the channels in our body to receive that power of energy and will. Without greater relaxation, we only cause friction and heat, but no interchange. Strength and courage fill my body cells. On the final inhalation, expanding, reaching higher towards the sky, and then go ahead and come right back through center, hands right into the solar plexus, fingers pointing forwards. Shift the weight onto the balls of your feet, soft knees. Shoulders relaxed. Hearing the affirmation, I attune my will to the source of all power. I attune my will to the source of all power. Go ahead and carry that will upward by inhaling, hands stay in prayer, rising right through the center of the body, and expand a field of energy by separating palms and tracing the circumference surrounding your body. All right. We'll continue with our willpower coming into chair pose, a little different than most of us are used to. Take a bend in your knees, but keep your hips underneath your shoulders. You're going to flip your palms out and roll your shoulders down and back. And you'll feel the low spine and the abdominal muscles begin to gather and build a foundation for the pose. Some of us are able to roll onto the balls of our feet and we lift our heels. Some of us are able to go a little bit deeper. There's a point where your thighs begin to really activate. The belly and the back are supported. And this is the ideal position here. So we're going to come back in, but go ahead and take an inhale. Heels settle down, arms all the way up. Good, exhale, drop right into the pose. So palms facing up. The affirmation, my body is no burden. I am light as air. My body is no burden. I am light as air. Let the fire of the will begin to circulate through the body. So send it to the parts of the body that feel challenged or the areas of the mind that feel tired or weak, and let that fire just begin to burn away what's unnecessary. 
Let's inhale and come up for a moment of rest, and then we'll come into the full version of the pose. Exhale, drop into the position. Some of us will come all the way down in the pose. If you have sensitive knees, just be very careful, and you can come all the way down, heels stay high, and you can set hands down for extra balance, or some of us can balance on the feet. We're here for just a few moments. And repeat the affirmation. My body is no burden, I'm light as air. My body is no burden, I'm light as air. Now send hands behind us, deep inhalation, sweep the arms up, and then lengthen the legs and come all the way up. Good, let the hands come out and around right away. And then hands right up into the heart this time. And allow a moment with energy Sing, singular at the point between the two eyebrows. And we'll begin to open our eyes. So we're coming all the way to the front of our mat here, if you aren't already, and you're taking a step back. We're going to start with left foot behind us. I'll show you from the side here. Front knee is bent. If you'd like, you can set your back heel down on the ground. Some of us will keep the heel lifted. The back leg is strong and stable here. Go ahead and draw the kneecap up and in. The whole leg is firm and front leg is supportive. And you're gathering the energy from beneath you. So go ahead and take an inhale and draw the hands up in to the solar plexus. Carry that fire into the heart and then release it above the head. This is our warrior one position. Nice deep breathing, repeating the affirmation, looking directly in front of you and maybe a little bit up. The whole body is relaxed yet engaged with dynamic energy. And we'll use the affirmation, I attune my will to the source of all power. Make sure that you're challenging your body a little bit here. This will help to strengthen your will, but not going so far that it becomes an ego activity. I attune my will to the source of all power. Hands can come down into the heart as you feel inspired to do so. And you can take a step or two or three until you come all the way back up to the front of your mat. Let's just take a bend of the knees. Inhale, sweep up and around. Good. Exhale. And hands right back into the solar plexus. Fingers pointing forwards. Feel the energy rising from the solar plexus. Up towards the head. I attune my will to the source of all power. Imagine the little stream of your will uniting with the great ocean of potential willpower. When you're ready, you can gently release the practice. Inhale, sweep the arms up and around, lengthening. Let's go ahead and take fingers interlacing and press the palms up to the sky. Sit down in the hips a little bit. Just keep reaching, lengthening out shoulders, lengthening out midsection. Deep breath in. Good. Exhale, just gently release hands down and around on the sides. We'll come for the opposite side. So this time we're stepping back with our right foot as far as is comfortable for you. You can use your heel for balance or you can keep it lifted. And first reach down into the earth and gather that foundational energy and lift it up through the heart. Lift it up above the head. Pushing down through the soles of the feet to be steady in your foundation. 
Imagine like you had a belt wrapped around your hips and it was just a little too tight, squeezing in. Feel that sense of gathering at the foundation of the hips and the base of the spine. And it's always moving upward. So anytime we're gathering and drawing energy up, it's coming up. And let that go right through the solar plexus and the heart. Shoulders relaxed. I attune my will to the source of all power. Be intentional in the way that you reach through your fingers. And let's finish the pose in a state of relaxation, calm energization. Ready to descend, hands come down into the heart. And inhaling, you could take one or two or three, as many steps as you need to come back up to the center. Again, a little bend of the knees, and we'll circulate the arms around. We're coming all the way for a forward fold, just to release the head and the neck down towards the earth. Inhale, lengthening halfway, lifting and pressing off the thighs. Good, and then exhaling, bending the knees and rolling up, head and arms, last part of the body to rise. Turn the palms to face forward, relax your shoulders. Your weight is on the ball of your feet. Let's look right into the spiritual eye here, together, hearing the affirmation, I attune my will to the source of all power. Feeling power circulating through the body. And we'll just gently release that practice. So let's go ahead and step our left foot back once more. This time we're coming into a side angle position. So go ahead and find your forearm resting down onto your thigh. And the idea is to get one big angle all along the left side of the body. And you can start with your left hand straight above the heart, or some of us will face palm down and reach up overhead. And you really want to focus on the belly and the low spine, like a tree trunk growing at an angle out of the side of the cliff. This is the type of strength and integrity that we're building in the core. The affirmation, I am a fountain of boundless energy and power. I am a fountain of boundless energy and power. This power is not to be confused with domination type energy, but simply the potential energy to do what it is that you wish to carry out. We're going to flip the shape when you're ready to exit. So left arm comes all the way down and just rotate only the upper bodies. Notice the low body stays just the same. And we flip that shape around. I am a fountain of boundless energy and power. Stay embodied in the practice, aware of the body in the position. We're going to slowly descend with right arm, both hands on to the hips, and then you can take your slide step or several steps all the way back up. Good little bend of the knees. Let's inhale and sweep arms around. And exhale, forward fold, release the head and the neck forwards. Slight bend in the knees, press off the thighs to lift halfway. 
Exhale, release the body forward, bend the knees, roll up the spine. Good. Turn the palms to face out, shoulders relax down and back, and lean towards the balls of your feet. Chin draws towards the throat. I'm already looking to the spiritual eye. Final breath or so here. And then gently releasing. So we'll come for the other side, stepping towards front of the mat. Right foot's going all the way back. Settling heel side down and foot pointed at an angle. And then you go ahead and take a nice deep bend in your front knee, forearm resting on the thigh, and then reaching up overhead. You might start by stabilizing here and feeling comfortable. And for some of us, we feel the energy flowing through the limbs strong enough in our body to extend, palm facing down, arm overhead. Careful not to fall asleep on the supportive left arm, but try to keep pressing away from it so that you feel the body beginning to strengthen the spine and all the integrity of the spine strengthening. I am a fountain of boundless energy and power. Nice deep breath. You might tune your awareness into the solar plexus and feel the fire oh, building in this part of the body. When you're ready to flip the shape before the body's fatigued, let the right arm come down. Inhale nice and calm, just rotate the upper body. If you need to straighten out your front leg, do so, but then come right back in, opposite arm reaching into the sky. Feel that, the affirmation, I am a fountain of boundless energy and power. Like water bubbling up from the earth. Flowing from an unseen source. When you're ready to descend, you take that gradual transition, hands back onto the hips, and then just a gentle step or slide all the way back front. Good, let's take a little bend in the knees, last of our little resets here, and we'll progress in our practice. Head coming down towards the earth, inhaling, pressing off legs and lengthening the spine, and then exhaling, folding forwards. We're going to just gently roll up for one moment here of integration and let's go ahead last time at the solar plexus gather the hands fingers pointing out shoulders relax all that burns in this fire is the false sense of self So let that aspect of you begin to burn away. It's not there for your best and highest good. And let's inhale, make sure you carry that energy upward. So reach the palms still in prayer up above the head. And then exhale, you can part the hands and release that energy out as you feel maybe a little lighter. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling, you're carrying energy right up the spine and exhaling, freeing yourself from those inner patterns. 
And we're cultivating magnetism by circulating the arms. One more time, if you'd like, arms all the way up. Good, and then exhaling. We're coming all the way down, so be creative if you'd like. You can sweep arms up and around if you'd like, and eventually we're all coming down forward folding, and we're gonna touch to the earth. So bend the knees enough that you can step your feet back and out of the way, and we'll come right into downward facing dog. So step your feet towards the back of the mat. Heels remain heavy. The affirmation, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. And feel this balancing the fire in your practice. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. And let any part of the body do a little scan for a moment here before we come down to rest and circulate that calmness into parts of the body that may be holding tension. Maybe it's hips. Maybe it's knees or low back or back of the neck. And we're circulating that calm presence through the body. When you need to come down in your practice, you could stay here for several more breaths if you'd like. You just lower down into child's pose, arms extended long, or an optional Vajrasana or lightning bolt pose, which is sitting over ankles, palms facing up. Wherever you are, close the eyes. And feel the little streamlet of your potential energy being flooded by the divine current and let it flow into your body. Let it hydrate the body. This false sense of self is burned by the transformational fire of our will at the solar plexus. There's no more false self to burn. The fire comes back to a calm center. When you're ready to rise out of the position, we're going to slowly Begin to lift onto all fours. Staying with this theme of solar plexus, you can send right foot back behind you and left arm will reach forwards. This is a great posture for kindling the transformational fire or the Agni. And where you're looking Shift your gaze to the top edge of your mat so that there's an upward rising focus in your practice. If you like to lift the back leg to stoke the fire even more, feel free. But just notice if it's serving you. Last breath, feel that the power coming through you is not of your own source, but it's flowing through your body. And then we'll slowly begin to draw back down to the earth. Take a little circle of the hips here just to flush out in the low spine, a little more of a water type movement in our practice. Nice soothing into the hips, sacral region of the body. Make sure you reverse the direction. 
and then we'll come to other side as is natural. So left foot this time is extending back, right arm reaching forwards. You can lift the back leg if you'd like. And the idea here is to keep lengthening, reach in both directions away from the center and feel that the center is growing stronger, more stable. And remember that willpower, when properly applied, never leads to greater tension. It always leads to greater relaxation. And you can test that in your own body by noting how easy it is to smile, to feel joyful. When you're ready to come down, you take that descent in your own timing, and we're just coming right into a cat and cow position here, flexing the spine, arching the spine on inhale, and exhaling, rounding the back. feel inspired you take a little rest you can come down into child's pose if you'd like or you can sit over the ankles palms facing up take a moment here respite giving all this internal awakened energy a place to flow, always towards the spiritual eye. gently opening the eyes. We are going to lengthen back into tabletop position so that we can come down onto our stomachs. So go ahead and lengthen yourself right down onto the belly. And you can take your hands underneath the face, elbows under the shoulders. It's a nice transition, sphinx pose. Make sure you're pointing through your big toes. Close your eyes to look back to that point of the body. Try to release in the low spine. You might do a little waggle of your tail here, a wave of your hips, just to make sure that nothing is bound or tight in the low spine. And the focus is on expanding the back of the neck and reaching through the crown of the head. Affirmation, I rise joyfully to meet each new opportunity. I rise joyfully to meet each new opportunity. If there's a part of the body that you can relax a little more in this pose, especially in the low of the spine. Some of us may try looking to the spiritual eye. I rise joyfully to meet each new opportunity. When you're ready to descend, lower the belly and the heart first. Then when the pressure is onto the ribs, you can separate the elbows, and you make a little pillow with your hands, bend your knees and wave your feet as your forehead comes down. So you can try waving your feet 
in a controlled manner where it's very intentional or you might just sort of let them be wishy-washy more water like in their quality find what you need and we're going to come into a little bit more challenging pose keeping knees bent we're going to reach back for our ankles if you cannot reach your ankles bring hands back in front and just come into your sphinx pose with your feet behind your knees bent for the rest of us we're coming into a bow pose so catching hands into the ankles first start by pushing down on your pelvic bone this should give you a little bit of lift in your knees then you can start to kick into your hands and lift your chest. In the affirmation, I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. Use the willpower to center all your energy into your spine. I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. Nice deep breath, lifting as high as your body's ready to and stay in the fire a little bit here. Breathe into it. I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. And at some point when you feel ready, you lower the knees down. Legs extend, toes tuck underneath. Take hands under the shoulders and come right into the counter pose of child's pose. Now, some of us feel more comfortable in our seat, Vajrasana. You're welcome to come into Vajrasana as well. Let's stay with that affirmation. I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. Note what part of the body or parts of the body you feel most at this point. And let all the sensation, like many little tributaries, circulate back into the spine and that great river flowing up towards the brain. In this path, this is the way that we release energy in our bodies is by allowing it to move upward through the spine and to release out from the point between the two eyebrows. slowly begin to rise out of the position. Some of us might like to walk right up into cat position, which is rounding the back, looking towards the lap, relaxing space between the shoulders just to get the extra rounding of the back for counter position. And then we're going to come down and step the hands behind the ankles. I'll show you from the side so you can see. And you might need to use your fists here if you can get your hands on the ground. Great and you're going to lift the hips as much as you can off the ground and if you start to lift with the muscle of the thighs lift with the muscle of the hips there's quite a bit that our bodies can do in this pose it could be very challenging so let's get right to the affirmation energetic movement or unmoving peace the choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. And feel the power in that affirmation of the will. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. Breathe into the solar plexus while you're in the pose. You might even let the body Come to a point of flushing. Of course, when you need to come down, the earth is waiting for you. Lower down. A nice counter pose is to come right into downward facing dog. So tuck the toes underneath. 
take a little pedal, meaning bending one knee and then the other. Look behind the body. And take deep cleansing breaths in this pose. There's an abundance of space in, between the ribs and in the lungs for you to breathe more deeply than you're used to. And then you choose when you're ready to come down. And if you'd like to come into child's pose or you'd like to sit over the ankles, just take a neutral position for a few moments here and close the eyes. Feel the affirmation circulating, energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. some of our other affirmations as we rest our awareness at the spiritual eye looking upward in deep relaxation we've affirmed strength and courage fill my body cells I am a fountain of boundless energy and power Tune my will to the source of all power. will begin to rise gradually we're gonna slide our feet out out of the way and send them in front of the body knees staying bent go ahead and take hold of the back side of your thighs and seal your elbows towards your ribs you're going to lift your chest by relaxing your shoulders back behind you and start to recline back a little bit more and a little bit more and your feet may or your toes may begin to leave the earth. Hugging knees and ankles close together. And for the sake of this practice, just stay on the ground, but see if you can release the hands and keep the chest wide open. And we're going to repeat with great strength and intention within my every breath is infinite power. Feel that emanating through your body, starting in the solar plexus. Some of us may feel it also entering through the base of the skull and flooding into the body, the point of recharging in our bodies. Within my every breath is infinite power. Within my every breath is infinite power. If you need to hold back onto the thighs, feel free, but otherwise you just stay lifted here for a few moments and feel that within my every breath is infinite power. tuning in to that. When you're ready to release, the toes come back down to the earth. We're coming all the way down onto the ground. The counter pose as we meet the earth is a bridge position. So before you enter, just close the eyes and look up to the spiritual eye. Palms facing up. So knees are bent, feet sealed down, 
And in your own timing, when you're ready to, you can inhale and start to lift the hips off of the ground. Focus on pushing out of the soles of your feet. Then beginning to engage the thighs and the glute muscles. Some of us like to interlace fingers underneath the hips and we tuck the shoulders underneath the chest. Just be careful here not to look left or right, only up above. The affirmation, my every thought is a bridge to divine grace. My every thought is a bridge to divine grace. Even as you're active in the pose, try to find a degree of relaxation, of allowing the currents of energy in your body to flow and support your practice. My every thought is a bridge to divine grace. When you're ready to lower down onto the earth, do so gently. And then you let the knees just wave side to side. And you might stay on one side or the other. This is our final moment of our practice before we take a deep relaxation. So you might extend the arms out to either side. Just imagine that we've applied the heat of transformation to our body. We've begun the melting process, the cleansing process through the body. And as you wave the knees side to side, it's the equivalent of wringing out a wet towel. You're beginning to wring out those areas in the lower centers of the body. Now it can be very helpful to take a final inversion pose here. This could just be your knees tucking in towards your chest and holding on to shins or knees in a little ball. If you enjoyed the bridge position, you might come back into bridge lifting hips. Some of us may like to come into a further expression and if you're going to come into any sort of shoulder stand and it's your first time just take a look at the screen first elbows plug into the earth we wave the feet over the head and press into the elbows and lift the hips simultaneously catching them into the hands and extending the legs so if you are choosing an inversion, like a supported shoulder stand, just be mindful of the intensity of the flow in the body. If it's too much pressure, that's a good indication to come down. At this point, the energy is flowing up the spine so powerfully that the solar plexus starts to become more calm. It takes its right relationship to the other centers in the body. So very important to allow that inner fire to be calm and centered as we're closing out our practice. are ready to come down the knees bend in towards the chest before you release hands out of the hips and then slowly release and roll the hips back onto the earth and 
take any counter poses that you might need. If it's the knees waving side to side with feet resting on the earth, you might stay in that position for a little while. And we're setting for Shavasana. So this is the final resting pose with the option to meditate. So if you'd like, you can pass on Shavasana. If you have a blanket close by, this can be a wonderful tool in your practice to not only keep the body warm as it cools down and rest, but also to insulate our energy, the life current in the body. If you're coming into meditation, choose a position that you can hold for a little while. So ideally, legs are crossed, palms facing up at the top Junction of thigh and abdomen, elbow slightly behind the body with heart lifted. For those of us in Shavasana, try tucking the shoulder blades a little bit underneath the body. So just join them together. And it's almost like you lift up the heart for a moment and everything settled in place and then you rest more fully. Your shoulders will open more, palms will be easier to hold open. And each of us, no matter what posture we're in, will participate in this closing pranayam practice. Now it's a very simple breath, but it requires us to be aware of the entire body. So we're going to breathe as though our breath is coming in through the soles of our feet. And breathe that breath all the way up through the ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips, right up through the torso, like you're filling a cup with water, all the way to the top, crown of the head, out to the arms. And then exhale and relax the entire body. So allow a few rounds of this practice of inhaling and rising up through the whole body. Feeling the body filled with oxygen, with prana or life current. And let's have at least one more round wherever you are. A final rinse of the entire body by breathing in through soles of the feet. All the way up through the hips and the torso, the heart, throat. Right up to the point between the two eyebrows. And at this point, let there be an expanding feeling of your consciousness. Affirmation. Bones, muscles, movement, I surrender now. Anxiety, elation, and depression, churning thoughts, all these I give into the hands of peace.
presence in Shavasana. Begin to feel the awareness coming back to the physical body. The breath re-inspiring. Breath becoming a conscious activity. Inhaling more deeply now and exhaling more completely. Feeling from the center of your being, the single point of your awareness, energy extending out into the muscles further out towards the skin, into the extremities of arms and legs, into the skull. And with the willpower, as you inhale, awaken energy back into the tips of fingers and toes by gently moving them. We'll continue this awakening process. Let it be intuitive until it takes you from the earth back to a comfortable seated posture. And join us in meditation. For those of us in meditation, seated posture, join the palms together at the solar plexus, thumbs resting right at the soft point of the navel. And join your hands facing upward as much as your body can accommodate. space while others are joining us. As you are arriving in your comfortable seat, make sure that your spine is as long and as freely upward expansive as possible for you in the body. Shoulders are relaxed and the jaw is, or the chin is slightly drawn towards the throat so that the back of the neck can be long. Let's take a few moments to really tune in with the, our source of willpower in the solar plexus. Most of us, our will is like a little battery that can be drained quite qu quickly. And in this moment, plug yourself into the grid of willpower, a cosmic source that you can draw on infinite potential. power of the will. You can use your hands as a symbolic gesture or remain in this pose. If you're using the hands, face palms up and seat them right at the base of your spine. And with the will, the concentration will simultaneously draw the palms facing upward and feel that there is a purifying magnetic fire that is burning up through the spine and will carry the palms through the heart, through the throat, Ask the spiritual eye and release that energy by circling palms outward. It requires all of your concentration, calm concentration. So again, inhaling, feel that you're carrying, you're lifting or you're purifying 
the various patterns in your spine. Just release those out with. And one more time, relaxing as you do it this time, looking to the spiritual eye all the while. And then exhaling, releasing out. Let's join the hands together in prayer, front of the heart. On the spiritual path, the solar plexus is the fulcrum. It is the center balance point. Our energy is allowed to go downward through weak will we fall into greater sense of separateness and delusion, but if we draw on that infinite potential source of willpower, we can purify any past habit, any emotion. strength and confidence circulating through the body, a sense of calmness in the wake of that confidence, and above all, a greater capacity to love. Let's go ahead and share this energy by rubbing the palms together, generating some magnetism between the hands. Uh, sitting tall, extend the palms out by the sides of the head or shoulders. And we're going to sound OM three times, sending waves of blessing. Feel yourself as a channel and that blessings are pouring through you into the world. If there's a particular person you'd like to pray for, feel that these waves of vibration are filling their body, mind, and soul. Join me when you're ready. Deep breath to begin. together a gentle bow of our head towards our hands in prayer we bow to all the great teachers that inspire us from within we bow to the divine nature of resting within each one of us awaiting the wake-up call from our own aspirations and bowing that place within each other we close our practice saying namaste namaste, namaste. Thank you all very much. Now is the ideal time to meditate or to take some time in silence. So I encourage you to do that in your own practice. If you have other places to be, to the best of your capacity, keep this energy flowing in a positive direction through your day. And thank you so much. I pray that you have strong will in this world in all the right ways. Happy fall.